Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's the wrong music. H- hang on. That's better. Yeah, that's the wrong pizza review music. And also, it's in the copyright claim system. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Cursed Pizza Review. The first video was a little while ago now, and people enjoyed it as much as I maybe didn't. But, you know, that's okay, because we're here to review pizza that looks like weird crap. And I, being uh, an Italian heir, have decided I need to put these pizza crimes to rest. I need to stop them. And so we're going to do a part two. I have uh, plenty of pizzas. And also, I have some new resources, including AI-generated pizzas and a whole social media account dedicated to fucked up looking pizzas which is incidentally the name of the account fucked up looking pizzas yeah so uh where do we begin how about we begin with whatever the fuck this is oh it's flaming hot cheetos i think so listen um there may be some repeats from the last segment Thank you if you sent in fucked up pizzas. Uh, I may accidentally show one that I've shown before. In which case, I probably will have forgotten. But uh, I'm going to do my best to tell you whether or not this is actually a pizza. And how close it gets to being pizza. So this one, um, to me... Oh man. Uh, You know what? It, It seems like it's got cheese on it. There's some sauce. It's pizza with a weird topping. I wouldn't eat it, but I'm also not going to say it's not pizza. It could be considered clown pizza, but I'm I'm gonna just say that this is this is novelty extra shitty topping pizza. That that's pretty much all I would say that is. Alright. Now you understand how the segment is going to go. I might have seen um strawberries on pizza in the previous one. This is also, I think, like foolish, but people eat pineapple on pizza. Just so you know, I don't like pineapple on pizza, but some people do. Not my jam. Strawberry on pizza looks weird. For me, a pizza is sauce, cheese, dough. It's maybe pepperoni, maybe some onions, maybe sausage. Basic, simple toppings that complement the sauce and the cheese. Fruit, chocolate, candy, um fish like this is stuff maybe anchovies i don't eat fish really but uh, this is stuff that does not work on pizza for me as we all know me being italian i am the preeminent authority on pizza. this is disgusting this is a travesty oh my god is that a is that ketchup and crackers with just shredded ham what's the yellow stuff is that egg yeah, this is travesty pizza. I, I fucking hate this. Speaking of candy on pizza, this is one of those things where, excuse me, the slice itself looks so bad, I might be willing to forgive you as a New Yorker, as an Italian, I might be willing to forgive you for putting candy on this pizza because it looks so wretched. I have indigestion looking at it. Awful. Awful. Yeah, now now we're getting into is this even pizza anymore because it is round and has sauce on it. I is that green? I, what is the fucking what is the crust? I don't know what this is. All right, it looks like there's some kind of maybe it's tomato sauce, it could be barbecue sauce. <laughs> no. And there's corn. And green dough of some kind. Now, this is maybe where the cultural barriers start to, um, you know, rear their ugly face. Because, I, you know, again, I don't understand it. I respect your cultural pizza. But as um, as in a New York Italian, I, I, you know, I say that a lot in this video, probably. I don't even know. I haven't said it any anything yet, but maybe I say it a lot. This does not work for me, and um, there's a lot of fucked up looking pizzas out there that I would not try. This is one of them. However, if this is your local, like, town favorite, uh, good for you. So here's that account I was telling you about. 
um, that has fucked up pizzas. And this is the one they have pinned at the moment. And you, you can see there's even like a joke here. They made like a funny joke. But that's the interesting thing is it is withheld in Italy for crimes against pizza. I've never even been to Italy and I know that. Here's a closer look. Ah yes, Kraft Singles. Slapped on top of, I guess, cracker dough. Beautiful. I just think, like, for me, that just looks like insect eggs. It's probably blueberries. All just just in there. Just, just in there. It, it doesn't say. I don't have any information on what these pizzas are. I can only speculate. However, my speculation is that this pizza looks like shit. Once again, you have what appears to be vending machine pizza. Um, where's the crust? The crust and pizza ratio is negligible. And they put, like, barbecue chips on it, like ruffles or something. Like, there's pizza crimes in this photo. Alright, well, now, now we're getting into clown pizza. It's just Peter Griffin as a pizza. But even so, it just looks lacking. You know, there's areas where the, the cheese is overtaking the sauce, and I bet it doesn't taste very good. Just bland. Bland Peter Griffin pizza. Oh, someone thinks they're being funny. They're spelling words out on the pizza in their toppings. Out of spam, no less. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, spam I, on pizza, if it's cooked spam, I'm sure maybe there's some positive attributes to it. I'd prefer not. But why does the dough look like bird shit like the shape of it and then within the pizza itself that's the real question my friends ah yes M marshmallows and blueberries or m maybe they're quail eggs i see is there honey in this photo that could be eggs I don't know. I mean, leave a comment if you know what I'm looking at, but um, I see chocolate. Is there chocolate on this pizza? It's a shame, too, because at least the dough is a circle. The previous one dreams of dough like this. And here's this again. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Oh my god, okay, at first, from the thumbnail, I thought this was a fidget spinner. But it's really just a pizza. Are those pineapple? Like, slices? Being brought down some kind of metal conveyor tube? And Oreos? And the shape is wrong? And, and, and the sauce is just like... It's just like globbed on? Are those mozzarella sticks in the middle? <sighs> There's too many conflicting flavors. That might not even... Is that fruit? And not uh, tomato sauce? Oh, man. You know what's going to happen. Mario is going to break through my window. And he's going to be upset. These pizza crimes are going to upset him. <sighs> Alright, next. It's just a closer look at this pizza. No, thank you. Uh, clown pizza again. I think this was in one of the um, highlight reels from the previous video. I get it. It's chicken pizza. Bubble tea blossom pizza. Simply love at first bite. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, your status as being able to call yourself Pizza Hut has been revoked. I decree this to be official starting today. It's like, you know, they can't call KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken because the question uh, of the chicken is in the air, you know? So I say we just call you P-Hut. Or just stupid. I don't understand the combination of flavors. Please, if you like this, leave a comment. Let me know why. 
Let me know why you like this. I'll never get it. And you're also... Maybe you're from a different planet. I don't know. But hey, whatever. I'm from Earth. Here's one. Um, it's a Christmas tree. I, I get what they're doing here. <clears throat> In order to make these shapes, they had to sacrifice the crust. Crust. The, cr the crust. And... <laughs> Uh, I see basil. Basil is pretty good on pizza. If it's like shredded, I like it like that. Um, appears to be peppers on the Christmas tree. Pepperoni on the candy cane. So yeah, I mean, this is... It's novelty, but I think it's edible. And it looks like traditional pizza. The dough looks like shit. Like just thin, shitty, non-good non dough. As I've said in the past, the secret weapon for a good pizza is the dough. You, you might think, fuck it up with cheese. You might think, you know, the sauce. Yes, these are good things. Though, personally, I don't like to fuck it up with cheese. I think the right sauce-cheese ratio is nice. But when you have really good dough, you're in good shape. You can't tell from this because the crust is missing. But I think a good slice of pizza is that no man's land. Between the crust and the actual, like pizza itself, like where the sauce and cheese end and the crust starts to begin. There's like a, you know, a couple inches of pizza that sometimes we leave. I do at least. If that's good, then you have good pizza. Okay, here's some more slop. So we got beans, mushrooms, maybe eggplant or chicken, I'm not sure. Maybe some sausage. Um, are, are those burnt croutons? some white sauce. Uh, you know, it's a shame because the crust in some spots looks nice. But then, the closer you look at this, the more it reminds you of vomit, and that is a problem. We don't need all of this on pizza. We, we can, you know, settle. Settle. Yeah, it's cursed. Yes, I mean, yes. Again, chocolate and pizza do not mix. For me, that is a Tums festival. It's a Tums Christmas. It's a Tums cavalcade. But I would rather eat this than that previous one. You're going to make him do it. Mario is going to be busting through any minute now. I can tell. At least the spaghetti and pizza are in the same family. It's not like chocolate and pizza. Still... Eat the spaghetti, then eat the pizza. You don't need to do both at the same time. How fucking lazy are we? Marshmallows. What are, what are we doing? Just, what are, what are we doing? It is clown pizza. In the shape of a fidget spinner. It looks like real pizza to me otherwise, though. It makes me wonder what the cook ratio is. Like, you know, does the oven cook it all evenly? I'm not sure. I'm not a pizza expert in the cooking department, just the tasting department. But it looks good. I mean, there's peppers. Uh, um, there's some onions. There's maybe, is that jalapenos? Maybe. And then um, maybe meatball and um, or sausage and, and pepperoni. So, I mean, they, there's... Variety, but it's variety within the reasonable realm of pizza. It's just a fucking fidget spinner. Uh. Are those olives? They might be just whole ass olives, which... I like olives on pizza, but I like them chopped up. Sm kind of small-ish. But I would try this. It looks a little... I mean, I see some weird... Hang on. Let me take a look at this a little closer. Because it, it doesn't look like terrible pizza. I know it's Dogecoin. It's Sheeb. Um, that's not corn, is it? I can't tell. It might be corn. It might just be like another cheese. Like a yellow cheese put on it. For shading purposes. <laughs> so when you have art pizza... Chances are it's not going to taste as good as, you know, just your standard pizza. 
Why are we doing this? We can't eat this because you don't eat the shell. Pizza, the beauty and simplicity of pizza is that you can grab a slice and eat it without having to peel it like a, a banana or an onion. You can eat it without having to take the food, the meat out of the shell. You just eat the pizza. You fold it up and you eat it. You can take it on the go with you. You know, there's various ways you can do uh, pizza. I did see a video that was really weird of some dude rolling up a pizza for on-the-go occasions. I lost that video, but it, it was both the dumbest shit and maybe the smartest shit I've ever seen in one video. This is just dumb. And possibly a joke. Who's willing to eat that? Why? What? It's just uh, everything. Hey, yeah, we, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just give you everything we make here at the restaurant. Yeah, we'll throw a bunch of peppers on there, and some onion rings, and some sausage, maybe some eggs. Just everything. Hey, welcome to Gino's. Uh, can I take your order? Hi, can I get a pizza? Alright, what, what, what would you like on it? Uh, everything. Alright, so the, the works then, then like the pepper, a mushroom, onion, uh, pepper... No, 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 a everything you make, and don't chop up the sausage. Or, sorry. Don't chop up the wieners. Oh, buddy, what are you? Oh, oh. Uh, all right, buddy, we will have that delivered over to you in a twenty minute. In a twenty minute. It's so close. I know Mario is upon us. I know it. Is this even cooked? I see burnage, but I don't see it on the dough. Well, I say dough, as if this isn't just sold in the store like that. Wait, 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 wait. What am I looking at here? What am I looking at here? Is there paper on top of the pizza? Like, was it cooked with the paper on? It looks like it's underneath it. I'm confused about what I'm looking at, but it's very waxy. Is it just wax on the pizza? Because that doesn't look like how cheese should look. Like it almost vaguely, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who sent this to me or why this was included, but it looks wrong. It upsets me, and I can't figure out why. There's a lot wrong with this. Is it not the dough? Is that just a circular plate that this fucking slop is on with this... Like, they made a spider out of toppings. I don't know, I don't know man. I've seen this one before, or a variation. It's Peep Pizza. Peepza. Again, why? Why? Ohio Valley style. This just keeps coming up, doesn't it? The best kind of pizza. Yeah, don't cook the cheese on a pepperoni, please! No, nah, just really leave it on the top, dip. Oh! So yeah, this is this is disgusting. Uh, no thanks. That's popped up a couple times. It's not the first time I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen this pathetic image. You know, I actually have gotten Subway pizza in the past when they had it. And... It was the most basic, in a pinch, pizza you could get. It was not good, but it wasn't terrible. It was just kind of like, all right, it's sustenance. It, there's sauce and cheese on it. I don't know what the fuck happened here. You know, it's just like, is that ranch or mayonnaise? Or, or it looks a little thicker. And there's some onions and some olives and, and it's uncooked dough. Oh, man. So, it, you know what? Fucking hell is what that is. Fucking hell. That's funny. When you wield pizza like a weapon. Still wrong, but that's okay. At least it was pizza. And then you have this. This goes back to the compilation 
video uh, shown last time where we get into... Here's a, f a full, complete five-course meal on one pizza. Because we couldn't choose. So we're gonna put... I think this is Brazilian. We're gonna put this... Um, we're gonna serve it. And you can just take whatever you want. And also, then there's dessert in the middle. Have fun! I mean, in some ways, it's actually kind of smart because it cuts back on the choice. Here's this guy again. Yeah, th this is this is the guy, I think. This is one of the famous pizza makers from Brazil that makes these. Maybe it's not Brazil, though. I don't know anymore. I mean, it's hard to get information. Concrete pizza information for shit like this is... I've, I've heard different stories. But that was covered last time. Oh, we make it a pizza, but it's a too big for a box. So, uh, jam it in. How about this? Use a little less dough. You know, because look at the crust ratio here. It's too much. And it's like uncooked crusts. Like, it's barely cooked. It, it looks very... Like, just nothing blah doughiness. The inside of the pizza looks okay. It's probably like a 5 out of 10 pizza, but... It's a shame. It's a shame what happened to it. it makes That makes me sad. Manda Nudes. Novelty pizza? I thought that said Mando, like Mandalorian. <laughs> Judging, okay, the, the joke, it should have said send nudes, but you, you know, whatever. Um, the joke of the pizza aside, it looks... It's got the olives on it, so it's not being made in a place I'm familiar with. But also, um, it's got just like slices of tomato on it, which can be done in fancier pizza places. More Neapolitan, but... I don't like the ratio of, of cheese and sauce. It does not look good to me. Well, aren't we funny? Aren't we fucking funny? Yeah, put McDonald's on a pizza. Yeah, no cheese. Just ketchup on dough. I don't know who this is supposed to be. I'm sure someone knows. Please leave a comment. That said, um, I see the garlic. Is that Papa John's? There's no way someone from Papa John's actually took a specialty order to make, like, anime art. Unless they did. I don't know. Um, Papa John's is a disgusting slop that gives you gas. However, compared to most other pizza we've seen today, I would I would eat that. At least it's the the you know the elemental ingredients of pizza. Oh yes, minions shaped pizza. So you can get annoyed while you eat it. I mean, it's good charring on the on the cheese and the crusts. At least. I give it that, but it's a minion, so that just upsets me. What the fuck is this? Is this like school cafeteria or hospital food? Because it certainly looks like it. This is one of, one of those shitty pizzas that you get in a cafeteria that was reheated. The sauce looks absolutely rank. Yeah, it looks more like an English muffin. Mm. Olympic pizza. What what did we use to color this pizza? Again, Brazil. I see the olives. That, that's the telltale. The green olives are the, uh, the telltale heart of, you know, Brazilian pizza. But I don't know if I'm comfortable with coloring those rings, unless it's like, you know, tasteless food dye or whatever, but even so. Well, this is interesting. Um, it's Pokemon pizza. It's pepperoni. It's olive and cheese. And you know what? I would eat this. It looks like um, a fairly basic standard pizza. But you know what? I like it. I'll eat it. Sure. It's nothing too wacky. And it's Pokemon themed. It's huge. The pizza is fucking massive from what it looks like. I mean, I don't know. I don't have like a banana for scale, but it definitely looks like pizza. It's just in a Pokeball. So sure. Um, that is more ham and pineapple than it is pizza. 
but also are those cherries like the ones from the jar but they have a name it is san marza san marzano cherries no that's not them cherry in jar what san marzano what the fuck does that mean it's um i always forget the name of this it's Maraschino? Mar Maraschino cherries. Good on dessert. Good on ice cream. What the fuck are they doing on pizza? Again, I can't even really consider this a pizza because the, the flavors would clash so much it wouldn't even be recognizable. We put the olives, four of them, together. Ah, I got. I have no comment. Might have seen this one last time, but once again, we'll just put a whole ass fucking cake in the middle of it. You know, I get it. It looks like there's an outer rim, like the 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 ring of Saturn, the rings of Saturn. So at least, you know, they they probably made the cake first, and then fit the pizza around it. So at least there's that. I don't think there's any need for this but okay okay <laughs> my favorite pizza here it is everybody now you know my favorite topping severed fingers and uncooked cheese yeah bean pizza with a side of dipping ketchup fuck you All right, Mario Pizza. All the toppings check out. Uh, the crust doesn't look particularly like charred and amazing, but you know what? If you presented me with Mario Pizza for my birthday or something, sure, I'll eat it. All right, that's fine. So now we have, is this like microwavable pizza? Norsk? It's, um, yeah, it's just chips on pizza. Potet chips. Spro potet chips. Og kajaktig. Best pronunciation. Other than the chips, though, it looks like... Yeah, shitty store pizza that you'd maybe microwave. And, and the, the dough itself, like the, the crusts, the undercarriage of the pizza. Look at it. It looks, it looks lame. How, how good could it be? Not even in a, like... A pizza emergency would I get that oh speaking of pizza emergencies this is a different kind of pizza emergency what have you done to this poor pizza why so m oh, it's Domino's too look the customer asked for extra 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 hot sauce and extra 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 mayo or whatever the fuck it is that's like jobs gone pizza it's another one of these weird things with some pastries in the middle I no comment anymore I don't really have much to say about that oh good looks like brain this just looks like flesh it, it's it's wet it's it's like it looks like there's dough that's uncooked in the middle but it's burnt on the outside um the cheese is it, 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 I don't know if it's congealed or if it just is just so wet in the middle that it ended up looking like this. Maybe they use like extra moist mozzarella, if that's even a thing. I don't know. I invented it. But that's impressive how you could both undercook and overcook a pizza in one go and have it look like human flesh. Or flesh in general. I don't know why human flesh. A moment of silence. Ah, oh, what a shame. Speaking of shame, this is the, um, you know, you're busy in college and you don't have a whole lot of money. So you're going to, what you're going to do, 
is chop up a fucking plum tomato and uh, get some cheese on there. It, it looks like, I don't even know what kind of cheese that is, but that's, you know, not pizza cheese. I'll put you that, I'll put you that way. Uh, on, uh, is that rye or whole wheat or, or just white bread? Struggle pizza. Though the word pizza doesn't necessarily apply here. So do you like your pizzas deboned? Because personally, I think it's better with the bone. Always have thought that. So... I got here a little video. So it's called Star Pizza Recipe. And it looks... like a complete mess. Again, good luck picking up a slice. Ease of access, ease of eating, not going to happen. So we're really starting with onions. If this isn't like a stew, then okay. I mean, that's fine if you want to make a, a completely separate dish. Or is that chicken as well? Ugh. And here come the mushrooms. Okay, so now it's just a slop of different ingredients. I'm Listen, maybe that tastes okay on its own. Maybe there's, you know, some redeeming value of that concoction. But I don't know where this is going or why this has to be pizza. Oh, yes, short wieners. Chop them. Get ready for the star. While we watch this, I will uh, mention pizza is actually my favorite food. And I have traveled, you know, up to like a couple hours to get pizza from a place that's supposed to be really good because I like... I don't know, it's a hobby. <laughs> in some ways. Not always. I, I kind of get bored of it and don't always go for it. But there are times where I will make a drive or like... Um, there's a place in Brooklyn called Lucali, which is you got to make a reservation hours in advance in person and then come back hours later. It was really, really good. I don't know if it was worth all that wait, but I've gotten uh, food from there three times. And every single time the pizza blew me away. So you, you can see what's happening here. We're. Yeah, oh, the corn. How could you how could you make pizza without the corn? Of course. And then a fuckload of cheese. It's star pizza. Yeah, I mean, again, we're we're using the word pizza as a base, and then you should that should be called pizza bada 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 because you have pizza and then like five more or ten more things on top of it. So, yeah, I'm I'm not really happy about that, but then again, it's not up to me. People have different pizza tastes. Like in Sweden. So I have an, a few things that don't work, but they're not all that exciting. So this is, um, I got a folder of pizzas from someone, whoever you are, thank you. And uh, this is like Swedish pizza. Now I'm not saying every Swedish pizza looks like this. But if it does, fuck. Okay, uh, olives. I, we got some. I don't know. Is that cabbage in there? Is I don't know what that is. It, but there's peppers, and then there's just wet. It's just like wet. Swedish championship winner, codfish and custard pizza. Whatever. Whatever, man. Listen, if that wins a championship... How about tape and staples pizza? Alright. Swedish-American pizza. <laughs> uh, oh, those crazy Americans. They, they sure do love full, uncut peppers on their pizza. And french fries. And ranch. Th those those wacky Americans. Here's um shellfish pizza, and I'm not going to make a selfish joke. I 
I see shrimp on there. I mean, it's just a completely different thing. Again, if I had a pizzometer, at least some of this looks pizza-y, but I, I, I really, really don't want it. And it doesn't make me angry because I don't have to eat it. That's not true. Some of these pizzas have made me kind of angry. This one in particular, though, anything with an inedible object on top of a pizza is just infuriating and baffling to me. Let's, let's just put it that way. Again, pizza is a beautiful and elegant food because you can pick it up, fold it, and eat it, and it's convenient, and it's easy. So those are the ones that actually work. But there is another one that's very interesting. OBS doesn't want to open it. I'm going to pause real quick and see if I can fix this. Well, I got, um, I got the other pizza images to work. So here's one. It's, a, again, Swedish pizza. I see bananas. It comes with coleslaw, too. Maybe it's not coleslaw. Maybe it's fancy coleslaw. I don't know what it is, but... Weird choice of topping. But again, it's a cultural thing, I guess. And then you have this one, which has burger inside pizza, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess. And then here was Swede... Crimis. So like, I don't know, I see some fish on there. I see some split wieners. I see what looks like human skin, probably. I don't, I don't fucking know anymore. Where'd the pizza music go? This is a three hour long pizza music video. And there's like a half hour of missing pizza music in the middle. This is fine. Professional video. So this is um, more Korean pizza. This is Brazil-Korea Holy Combo. Is <laughs> is the, uh, the name of this one. Domino's Pizza. Really, really showing how you can take pizza to the next level. The level may be a lower level, but it is the next one. Again, I can go into detail, but it looks like there's just like uncooked cheese sitting on top of a meatball. Several, and there's like puffs, pastry puff. I don't know. Um, corn pizza, again, Korea, it's in the Korea folder. So if you or anyone you know is eating corn pizza in Korea, please save them. Or yourself. Big slathering of some kind of cream. Um, here's a shrimp. Just very crusty photo. I don't even know if this is real. Is this real? It might not be, but... Yeah, it's very crusty. Korea cookie crust pizza. No. Cookie crust, topped with shrimp and potato. Like, not pizza dough, but cookie crust? See, that's where you want to put the chocolate. You want to put it on top of that shit. Korean waffle pizza. This would be one of those pizzas I would try for novelty's sake. And I would be like, alright, fine. I I'm at a place that serves alcohol and they have waffle pizza. Sure, I'll have one, and we'll split it, me and a couple people. I bet it's decent, and I wouldn't necessarily not classify it as pizza, but, you know, it's a it's a novelty item, and I, I would probably try it. Cream corn potato, I would not try. Not for a second. Shrimp and potato. They love their potatoes. These potatoes are like, you know, wedges. Also, there's some like yellow stuff in there. I don't know what that is, but hey, again, tastes differ across different cultures. And I am not sure. So here's new pizza American hot dog. I don't know if they're trying to say, hey, look, it's American pizza. There's hot dogs on it or... They're trying to say, it's just American hot dog on a pizza. 
some of you are probably thinking, hey, that looks all right. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. There's some strange ingredients I see in there, but I would try that. Then there's this, which looks like a cursed photo someone took moments before death. Like, did the pizza kill them? I don't, I don't know. Um, speaking of I don't know, I think I see actual, like, shaved off, like, corn chunks on here. And, and shrimp. Hang on, we've seen these. Th there's one we haven't. Fruit pizza. This says North Korea pizza. I don't know how true that is, but it appears to be filled with fruit and peppers. Vegetables and fruit. Forbidden combo. And I don't know where any of this is from, but it's in a separate folder called Now I'm Hooked. Anglophile's Dream. I'll have a little bit of, uh, beans and toast. There's some big chunks of tomato on there. It is a slop house. Slop mess. And there's egg and beans, and I am completely out. Completely. That's two hours on the toilet. No. C Whoa! Oh, no! No! It's cicadas! No, this can't be real. This can't be real. There's fucking cicadas on the pizza. It says Cicada Pizza Warning. That's the name of this image. <sighs> Listen, I'm less offended by the cicadas and more that there's no sauce and cheese. They're just like amidst lightly cooked onions and pepper. Yeah, put bugs on pizza. Oh. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm actually, like, struggling with indigestion right now. And it just started. <laughs> I wonder if it was that pizza. Um, Fish Pizza Russia is the name of this image. And yeah, that that's some fish. You know, instead of making it look appetizing, just cut off the tail and the head and just throw it on there. That's That's fine. The Emirates? Yeah. Well, it's lettuce, tomato, and burger. It's it's burger pizza. It's got... You know... Pizza, for me, is... I don't... I don't get the pods. When there's, like, little pods that hold an object. Like that star pizza or this. I've seen it a lot, and I don't really know why. I mean, I get... You can just rip a pod off and eat the thing. But pizza pods d does not work for me. It's not cicada pizza. Which is now one of the worst things I've seen ever, but it's pretty bad. L.A. chooses violence. L.A.? Well, you, you can't eat some of that. Like, I mean, you're going to eat the skin of the lime? Just eat lime on a pizza? You, you can't, you're going to eat the tim- Are you going to eat the pineapple leaves? No, you're not going to do that. Why would you make that? Here's actual pizza pasta. And it is not the worst looking thing. I would I would probably try that if you held that in front of me. I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll try a slice. It's weird. It doesn't need to happen. Like I said, you keep it separate. What do you think, Mario? Ah, Mario's shy. Oh my god. Well, we're nearing the end of the segment. I still have some AI-generated pizzas, but... You know... It's more Flaming Hot Cheetos. Is that just, like, nacho cheese? Like, what the fuck? And SpaghettiOs. Yeah. More pizza crimes, indeed. And, uh... Here's a little pizza from... We saw that one. This WebP image quality is really remarkable. Uh, this is from Australia. 
I don't know what that is. Like I don't I don't know what, what is in the middle there. There might be squid. But that is it, are those shells? Just just put a lime on the pizza and a lemon. That's fine. Just put it on there. That is just no man's land. Well, it's a good thing we're now done with the cursed pizzas. You know, I was really worried for a minute. I was just like, how how are we going to survive this? There's, there's, after the cicada pizza, I thought that... What's, what's that noise? Oh, fuck! It's Mario! Hello. I'm sorry. Even Mario knows when the pizza is just too fucked up. Speaking of fucked up pizza, did you know that we now have AI generated pizza? Yes. Created using Looking Glass AI version 1.3 using images of 25 pizzas from Japanese Domino's website. 414 pies were generated. So, you have the normal looking pies like this, and this, and this. You got stuff like this. Again, all AI generated. I don't know why there's a person in this AI generated pizza, but that's okay. This is like the normal pizza folder. There's, you know, weird toppings, maybe like combinations of toppings, maybe some tomatoes. It could be a little pepperoni in there. That looks like pepperoni or some kind of meat. The slices are weird. They're not great slices. They, they look, I don't know, like someone was angry at the pizza. But at least this stuff looks pizza eat this one looks a little weird I don't, I don't know how I feel about that but it's something so there's a lot of AI generated pizzas almost as many as the hogs the AI generated hogs and remember this this is all the normal stuff now we have the horror pizza generated by an AI so like stuff like this which comes with like pearls or stuff like this, which the AI generated like a brain. You, you got this and you got this. Not even in proper pizza slices anymore. You have like a pizza hell landscape. Two separate pies. One appears to have some kind of like shaved wiener. And then the other one is like... I guess, vegetable and orange? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it really does become very difficult to tell. It's a pizza slide. This is a pizza slide into, into it, like, insanity, perhaps, but... I mean, there's so many of these, I can't really show them all, because... Well, I could show you this one. <laughs> I don't think the... I don't think the AI understood its job. When it came to this one. But there's vaguely pizza related looking things here. It's just they look. Some of it just looks like. Is this Atlantis? Like. like what? You, you've heard of pizza slices. How about you get pizza slices outside your pizza slices? the Fibonacci sequence. The world's most perfect pizza. How nice of them to take this pizza photo, even though it's growing weird, like, globule, globules on top of it. Um, but they took it in front of uh, nature. A close-up of a leaf again. How nice. The AI definitely tried, and sometimes it gets it right, and sometimes it just gets it, like, weirdly, just slightly off. But it's an interesting experiment, to be sure. Is 
Is that just whole cloves of AI-generated garlic? Oh my god. I like garlic, but AI-generated garlic? No thanks. So those are the AI-generated pizzas. There are some more, but you, you saw the best ones. Um, as stated earlier, there is, in fact, a social media account for lots of interesting fucked up looking pizzas and I'm just going to go through and grab a couple and uh, that way I can, you know I can just boost the segment with a, with a couple extra timely cursed pizzas it says here pizza at Sao Paulo yep yep, 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 yep shredded ham Pizza slice at West Brom. Like, it just, again, looks like one mess of, of, like, pizza flesh. And that is a problem. So, for 420, there were some cursed pizzas, including a pot leaf on top of the pizza. So, I like to call this publicity pizza. Who's gonna eat this? Who's gonna eat the pot leaf? You know, it was like a 420. Yo, bro, come into the, uh... You know, come into the pizza shop. We got, like, pot pizza. But in reality... No bueno. I think that's just designed to get, um... To get people through the door. Friend ordered chicken on her pizza in Israel. Oh. Pizza on her chicken. No, that's chicken on her pizza. Once again, you need a separate dish entirely because then you have to take apart the chicken so that you can eat the chicken separately. Oh, man. This one's pretty fucking cursed. Oh, you saw that one already. Sorry. This one. This is a nice cursed pizza. Uh, this is, is there information here? Andy's Pizzeria. What? What? What is this? In the South Pacific Ocean. This is the. It's it's here. I don't know where this is. I'm looking for it. It's um. What is the name of this place? It's just some island. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot of stuff. Is it St. Paul's? St. Paul's Pool over there? Well, Andy is doing his best to supply pizza to everybody on this island, even though it includes fish, uh, egg, and banana. Oh, man. That's rough. There's another image. There's another pizza from Andy's shop. Oh, the poor people of that island. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I hate this. Here's a warning. Here's a scorpion warning. Why is this this has got to be joke pizza, right? Did someone caught scorpions and put them on a pizza just for internet points? This was on the cursed pizza, uh, pizza page. But I would eat that. <laughs> and truthfully, it's not far from one of the pizza places I like. I, I got to get rid of scorpion pizza. I can't even deal with it anymore. I'll explain in just a second. I'm actually going to give you some pizza recommendations. But first, here, we're going back in time. So this was St. Patty's Day. Had that. And it also had corned beef and cabbage pizza. Just because you can doesn't mean you should.
Anyone want ant pizza? Extra protein. It's a free topping. <laughs> Papa John's is doing some very interesting marketing strategies to retain their um, their pizza lead. I don't think they even ha ever had a pizza lead, but, you know, ant topping, that'll do it. And here, you know what? One more. Corn dog pizza. <sighs> you know, it's compared to some of the cursed shit we've seen today. And it does have too much crust. Doesn't look great. But yeah, if I was hungry, I'd still try it. It's just somewhere in the middle, things got a little fucked up. Got a little fucked up. But there have been more cursed pizzas that we have seen today. And that ends the pizza segment. So now, let me give you some pizza recommendations. Because people ask me, Vinny, what are the good places? I'm going to be in New York. What are the good places? All right, well, to cleanse the palate of the disgusting slop we just saw, I want to recommend some favorites. Here's an easy one. West Village, Manhattan, on Bleecker Street. John's Pizzeria. Classic New York slice. Nothing too fancy, but it's delicious. It gets the job done. It's a, a very famous, classic place. Um, you can't get slices there. You got to get a whole pie, so bring a friend. So that's John's on Bleecker. John's in Times Square is a different owner. Remember that. Joe's on Carmine Street is right near John's. Joe's is also very good, and you can get a slice, and they have a sign that says, was featured in Spider-Man. So you may enjoy Joe's. I like Joe's a lot. I think they're one of the best in the city. Again, go in, grab a slice. Don't even need toppings. It's that good. Also on Bleecker Street, if it's still open, if you want Neapolitan, something a little more fancy, thin um, stuff, you can get like salami, and you know, a lot of the menu is in Italian, Keste. So within, like right around John's Pizzeria on Bleecker Street and just beyond are three top of the line great pizza places. High recommendations. You saw that big fucked up pepperoni slice, right? Prince Street Pizza on Prince Street. That place has square slices where they just fuck it up with pepperoni. Amazing. High recommendation of Prince Street. You may have to wait a little bit to get it, like a couple minutes, 10. Worth it. Great pizza. But get the big fucked up pepperoni slice. I'd also recommend DeFares in Brooklyn, though the owner, Dom, just died. So the pizza world took a big hit as a result, sadly. Um, I've had pizza from DeFara's where Dom made it. He was old, but he still made the pizza himself. And it was unbelievable. Some of the best pizza I've ever had. I've had it from him where it wasn't so good. I've had it from not him where it was good. Where like, you know, the, his protégés uh, made the pizza. And it was good. But then I've also had it from their pro from the protégés that are not as good. But DeFara's, it's unfortunately kind of hit or miss. But when it hits, it is unbelievably good. I'd recommend Lucali. That's the place I mentioned earlier. It's in Brooklyn. You got to make an appointment in person, then go there later and get the pizza. Their calzones are amazing. They're expensive. They have um, a long wait, but it is an, an adventure and the pizza is amazing. Genuinely, you can tell the difference between like, you know, just corner pizza and this stuff. Most places in Manhattan you can go to, excuse me, that have good pizza, you'll you'll just, you know, or any pizza on like a corner, you, you'll get good pizza there for the most part. Just don't go to Sabaro. What are you doing? How dare you? But if you take the time to go to one of those places or find some other places that are, there's plenty of classic, amazing places like, like Sauce in the Lower East Side. Sauce is also great. You go to places like that, you will have a, a very, very good pizza. Other recommendations. Um... Frank Pepe's in New Haven, but there's also one in White Plains. There's one in Boston. Frank Pepe's is a pizza chain. Some of the best pizza I've ever had, and I've been to three separate Pepe's locations. All three, amazing. If you're ever in New Haven, I think it's Wooster Street, has just some of the best pizza on the planet all on one street, including Sally's, um, 
Abate's, I think, and also Frank Pepe's. Those are high recommendations as well. So yeah, those are my pizza recs. Um, you know, again, if you're in New York, check them out. Otherwise, just look it up online. You'll find some other good ones. But they're not cursed. That's for sure. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed my my disgust and anger. And also, I hope you enjoy yourself some good pizza because it is truly a magical fruit. Well, that's it for now. We make it a pizza. Goodbye. Mangiano. Sute paratino. Banciaratoni. Scorepta pignanda to pondo dando. These aren't real words. <laughs>